So I have a bit of a uh, time-lapse process video for you guys to check out. And I get asked this a lot about the sketch process. So I thought I'd do a video real quick and kind of show you this. I kind of uh, mentioned a lot of this stuff in the mascot logo video I did recently, but I thought I'd kind of revisit it again. Uh, it's more of the digital sketch process. And what I'm building is a, a design that's gonna be vectorized and turned into an emblem for Syndicate Original. So I use this process a lot when, when doing emblems or logos or even icons sometimes to, uh, to get the initial sketch down. And I usually start with pencil and paper, but in this type of uh, setup, it was really easy to just jump into a digital program and do the sketching there. And then I can just print screen and take it into Illustrator and start using the pen tool and uh, building the vector shapes. So the uh, what you're watching here, the, the tools I'm using at the moment would, would be uh, a program called Clip Studio Paint or formerly known as Manga Studio. And then I'm using a Wacom Cintiq. Um, I have to use a tablet with a screen because I'm not coordinated enough to not have one, not see what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> like I can't look up and sketch at the same time. So I'm using those two tools. And as far as tools in the program, the reason why I like to use Clip Studio Paint for primarily sketching is due to a couple tools. When you're working on symmetrical stuff, like you're seeing here where you at least start out with, with something that's symmetrical, a shape, there's a, a tool called the Symmetry Ruler. And the Symmetry Ruler is, it, it almost looks like a guide that you can drag out anywhere on the screen and then whatever you do on one side of the ruler will be duplicated and done on the other side of the ruler. So whatever tool you're using, whether you're using like a pen or a brush or, or you're using even making a selection, it will uh, mirror it and do the same thing on the other side. So it comes in really handy and it really saves time uh, when you're trying to build symmetrical stuff. So even if you start out symmetrical, you can easily toggle stuff on and off uh, to go back to, you know, just working on one side of the ruler. Um, the other tool that I use in Manga Studio quite often for sketching is the G pin. And the G pin is kind of this, uh, it's a, a raster based pin, but it's really smooth and it comes in uh, super handy. The, the, it, it's very sensitive to pressure. So the amount of pressure you put on a stylus, say on a tablet, it, you know, it'll make the, the lines thin or thick. Um, but the transition between uh, uh, pressure weights is really, really good. And it almost looks like a vector shape that you would draw in like Illustrator rather than um, rather than a, a, a brush or pin and, and kind of missing, you know, you might have gaps in the line or whatnot. But uh, the G pin here is, it comes in really handy. It's also got a, uh, a steady feature. Um, I forget what it's called, but it, it helps keep smoother lines, like if you have an unsteady hand, uh, or if you like me and you drink way too much coffee be before trying to sketch something, <laughs> you can turn that up just a hair and uh, get some smoother lines out of it. Now it's it's not super forgiving, you know, it's not gonna take a really squiggly line and straighten it out, but it does help um, uh, overall on, on stabilization if you need it. So the other process I take in sketching is I make a lot of layers. Uh, I'll start with a base sketch and try to get the, the first shape that, I, that, that, I, that I'm aiming towards. And then I'll drop the opacity down. If I like how it's turning out, I'll drop the opacity down on that layer, make a layer above it, and then start doing the sketch over again, but just starting to refine areas and edges. And you can see that in this one where I kept going over like the, the cheekbones and the mane and uh, just really trying to figure out the best overall shape for this lion. So I was using that process and you'll see the layers on the right start to stack up as I'm getting uh, closer and closer to something that I feel like I can vector. Um, the other thing I did here is I did a lot of sketches for the background of the lion. So I was trying to figure out, you know, should there be a shield behind the lion? Should there be uh, more of a medallion look or, or whatever? And, uh, you know, I was, I was going back and forth on that stuff. So that's about it in a nutshell. Um, if you uh, keep watching, you'll see me drag this in Illustrator and vectorize it. Uh, at the end, uh, my buddy Floris over at Creative Grenade did a very cool job at animating this piece and giving it some life, which very cool stuff. Uh, if you wanna see more of the Illustrator process, you can catch me on Twitch. I stream on the Adobe channel every Tuesday night and we tackle a lot of Illustrator stuff there. So if you wanna cruise by and hang out and hopefully learn some stuff, um, yeah, come see us over there. Now, uh, I'll let you go and I'm gonna let this run with a track from Wisdom and the track's called 2066 and I will catch you later on. All right, later. <laughs>